What is up peeps, this is for the win TCG and I'll talking you back to another YouTube video. I have quite an exciting deck today. It is Stack Attacker Miss Magius. Now uh, let me kind of uh, give you a bit of a context as to the, uh, the creation of this deck and the inspiration behind it. So in yesterday's video where I did uh, celebrate the return of Martial Arts Dojo and um, there was a comment actually regarding Martial Arts Dojo with playing Landorus and Miss Magius. Now, obviously, that's not Stack Attacker. So I did build a Landorus and Miss Magius deck, but it seems to need a lot more work for it to be something that I want to confidently upload to the channel. So it is a good deck, but it's just something that needs a bit more work. However, there was a comment within that section by Daniel Crouch. Uh, by the way, the comment about Miss, uh, Miss Magius and Landorus was done by K9, so you, you can see it on the video if you go to it. It's pinned up. But um, Daniel Crouch actually said that Miss Magius goes really well with the fighting type Stack Attacker. Um, so it's pretty good at getting a, or accelerating yourself to the turn, sorry, the, I guess the turn one, if you really want to risk it, 200 HP stack attacker, which I kind of don't agree with. I think there's a better way of going about it when using Boswell, um, because you, I think you'd rather, you're better off going to the full price turn using Boswell, activating Beast Ring, and then after it goes down, having 200 HP, that's what I think is the best way to go about this. Um, but yeah, so he said it would really work. And um, you can pretty much go straight into B-String, start milling their deck, doing decent damage, having crazy HP, just kind of going mad with the deck. And I thought, hey, that seems really fun. So why not try this out um, whilst I kind of put the Landorus Miss Magius deck aside and work on that in the future. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who did contribute in that conversation. It was really inspiring and uh, really opened my eyes on what you can really do with the likes of Miss Magius. Um, which I know we have explored before in a Boswell deck. So this one's going to function a little differently than the one you saw before. Um, if you haven't, then you can check it out on the channel. It's where I played Boswell with Ms. Magius, and it was a really powerful and strong deck. Um, but that didn't play any Diancy or any ability Pokemon because we wanted to use um, Green's Exploration because Green's Exploration really knitted the deck together. Now, this is a bit different because we don't have Green to rely on here to get our Dust Stones. Turn one, as confidently. So we have to rely on other things like uh, Cynthia and just, just general draw support to be able to get our turn one um, mischievous turn, right? That's what I'm thinking at least. So it's a bit sketchy, but it is doable. And it's something that I really want to try out. Nonetheless, we're going to get rid of Beast Ring and Surge and get ourselves probably a Boswell. That's probably what I'm thinking. Because we do want to activate Beast Ring. Let's Cynthia. Let's do that. Now, we actually don't play any Lily in this deck. And I do that for a very good reason. Um, basically, this deck wants to draw as much as possible when it comes to using this Magius. So, I think using the likes of Lily might be great for a turn one. But terrible at the rest in the rest of the game. There's a lot of top deck draw in this. With Miss Magius, and you can't activate Miss Magius if you have, I think, seven cards in your hand, which can be quite easily, 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 easily obtained, is what I want to say, when you ha use a Lily or something like that. So it, it could be a bit more of a detriment in the the mid to late game. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe not so much. I might play two, but I've just kind of left it out now to just see how it goes. Um, but I do want to get a turn one Sledgehammer here. I do. And uh, Red's Challenge could really help us out here, actually. Because we could double Miss Magius next turn and then just get it going. Yeah, that seems cool. So, yeah, the idea of this deck now is to, yeah, Boswell. Go to full prizes, Boswell, Sledgehammer until we get KO'd. And then from that point on, our stack attackers, which we hopefully have charged up with our Beast Rings um, on, that, on, that, on that crucial turn that we hit. Um, then we can just go and follow up with that for the rest of the game. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Okay, I made a misplay there. I'm not going to red challenge. I am going to do this instead, which has just paid off. So that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I should have actually discarded the energy, but kind of just played with my head. Played with my head. That made no sense. All right, let's just get rid of you two. I guess the Diancy and the Shrine are going to be quite valuable. Let's get another Miss Magius here. Let's put the Shrine up. I actually kind of want to get rid of reds uh, just to thin. Say say what you want about that. That might be a bit of a silly play, but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway. I want to get a beast ring, at least one or another stack attacker to bench. 
Wow, that is actually really bad. <laughs> that is really bad. Okay. We can still do Miss Magius, thankfully, by just dropping these things down. And we could go for a switch play. But let's just... Let's just, let's, let's, let's not. Let's... Let's... Please... Just give me, give me beast ring. Give me beast ring. I just need one beast ring. Wow. In a deck we play four beast ring, it ain't happening. Okay. Sure. I will take <laughs> Isn't it just my life? All right. Who cares? It's not chat Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go. Even if this Boswell goes down, we still have a beast ring to obtain and use, which is, it's just a smaller gap. So all they need to do now is just evolve, and they pretty much have the Giratina to play to follow up with. This is what makes Malamar Giratina pretty much the best one, is... You can just reuse your Giratina. You can have two in a deck and treat it like you have five. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it goes in Giratina. It's wildly consistent, um, especially with Jirachi as well. So it's just, yes, incredibly consistent. I'm really good at hitting damage every single turn. Spreading damage is just a really good Malamar variant, uh, regardless. But um, yeah, that's a bit shaky. Why do I play two red challenges? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So at least we can guarantee ourselves one beast ring. That's why I put red in here, just in case we struggle to get cards we need critically um, on critical turns. Red is really good for, for getting that. So that's what I was thinking, at least. Um, we can play a surge if we pull another one as well, which would be kind of fun. Uh, we can do that, and that would really help because we could red and go for an Erekar or red and go for Cynthia to really find these beast rings because we need a beast ring next turn for sure. For, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually going to one-hit care the Giratina, which is a shame. But they're going to get anywhere near one-hit one carrying us with us having 200 HP. So, that's good at least. And we do get to mill them a little bit, so that could be good. Milling is kind of the benefit of the deck. It's not really what we look to do, but... You know, it wasn't enough for me to put a Victini in. Let's just say that. Right, I'm, I'm very, 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 very much depending on a Beast Ring this turn. I'm just going to say that. In any case, uh, we're definitely going to get one. Oh, yeah. Of course you come to me when I need you most. Of course. All right. Let's charge you up. And we can actually reds for another, which is going to be the play. That's for sure. Let's do that. Let's get rid of a Cynthia and a switch. Let's do that for now. Maybe that switch, getting rid of that switch was kind of a bad idea. Maybe that was... Maybe that's a bit stupid. Okay, let's let's just let's just not sit there and judge my place. Let's like I do in every game. Let's just be string, keep these guys alive, and see how long we can keep them going for. That's what I'm thinking at least. All right, top down. That actually is a KO, thankfully, because they did put damage on themselves, which is a bit of a a silly thing there. But we actually flipped and got tails right away. That's typical. Oh, we got surge next turn as well, which is pretty good. So that's good news. Um, we find some Guzmans, that would be good. So this this is really fun. I mean, we now have two Pokemon down with 200 HP. Um, that's really good. Like, it's going to be a real struggle for them to get the KOs here. That's for certain. But they are going to get the Giratina down and pretty much charge it up right away. Again, this is what just makes this deck so consistent. Um, and they just get KO'd and they're just back into it thanks to the Jirachis. And so I guess the way to counter this deck would be Absol, if anything. But even then, they'll have their switches. They're probably going to get another Jirachi down. That'll be my guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. They're going to go for you. Smart. That is actually quite smart. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Now, the big shame with this deck, which uh, was mentioned by Kade in that comment, was you don't get to use Dojo here, unfortunately. Um, which is a bit of a shame. So, you can't really maximize your 110 damage to its fullest extent. Now, what would be really good is if you could use beast energy but guess what it's banned <laughs> yeah i know we go from one bad card to another and it's typical it's typical but yeah we're in a bit of a scenario unfortunately where upon patching dojo and uh eighth paradise which i think is patched i haven't checked i'm just gonna assume it is beast energy got banned <laughs> and i'm not sure what exactly is going on there so it's a bit of a shame Regardless, they can get a KO on this stack attacker, but after that, they have another one to answer. To oh, wow, they're not going to go for it. Okay, maybe they're going for the Sky Scorching Light GX in, late, in the late game. Maybe that's what they're thinking, but they're going to get anywhere near that. I'll tell you for sure. I'll tell you that for sure. Hopefully, we can just mill off some cards here, just make things a bit harder for them. But if anything, it can, it can actually help them by milling energy. But I think they have that loop they need anyway. They can just reuse the energy they lose with the Giratina, but the Giratina, yeah, yeah, it's just the way it goes. All right, regardless, um, 
Wow, they keep killing themselves. Okay. I mean, they're giving me prizes, so I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> now, we have no energy left, but we sh I'm sure we have some of the prizes. Let's go for a surge right now and just do an Erica move. See if we get anything worthwhile. Another stack attack. So we could, we could, I guess, tank a little bit. Cynthia, fresh hand. <clears throat> see what we get off of that. Again, just <laughs> nothing, nothing worthwhile. All right, let's top down here. Let's get some good coin flips on the mill. Come on, one. Uh, one. <laughs> and it's an energy. Oh, wow. It's exactly what they need. No, it's not. But okay. Uh, okay, that's uh, such a shame. Well, regardless, they're definitely struggling to get us. Um, and we could definitely bite back. See, the thing is, if we got shrine, we have one shrine. Don't tell me we've prized the other one. We have two shrines in this match, in this deck, sorry. Please don't tell me we've prized the shrine. Because that could be so good right now. In this particular matchup. Especially up against this bad boy. I mean, if we have choice ban, that's 130, 160. Yeah, Shrine could really help in KO in this thing in the late, late in the in the long run, at least. Um, something to think about. <clears throat> it is something to think about. Hang on. Oh, wait. I was going to sit there and go, hang on, we can use Dojo. It's, no, no, no. Dojo says that isn't an Ultra Beast, so we can't. Man, they... It, okay, in the Dojo, they specifically mention that fight, any fighting type except Ultra Beast won't be able to use the effect of that card. And let's be real. They did that specifically for Boswell, right? But unfortunately, this card suffered <laughs> in the translation. <laughs> this card suffered in the crossfire. Oh, yikes. Okay, he actually went for the Sky Scorch and Light. Okay. Um, I don't know what the strategy was behind that. I guess it's to make these cards one hit KOable. That's kind of smart. I'm not going to lie. Fair play to you, man. That's kind of intelligent. Because um, now we're in a very tough spot. Yikes. Okay, yeah, we're actually in a bad position now because of that Sky Scorch and Light. Oh. Oh, that is, that is, that is not good. No, 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 it's not good. No, 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 no. I'm out of energy. Yikes. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Yeah, they can just get a Tina. Take this out. Yeah, we have no energy. It's game. All right, well played. There is, like, nothing we can do here. We're going to have to concede there. Are we playing too little energy? That's a question we have to ask here. Hmm. Let's view the deck. Oh my god, I'm mean, working so much tonight on decks and stuff. It's crazy. Let's view the deck. Ten energy should suffice. Hmm. 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 Okay. Beast ring is critical. We can go down to free nest ball. That's fine. Um, I guess we can go down to two switches, right? We could, we should, maybe two Poke Gear, three switches. Let's stick with that. Let's go to 12 energy. I'm sure 12 energy is enough. Let's be real. I mean, 12 energy is a, is a lot. Watch this. I can guarantee you now we're going to go into this game and just be like, whole hand is energy. <laughs> just like energy everywhere. Please don't do that to me. Please, 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 please. <laughs> You guys do not understand my level of luck on PTCGO recently. Just today alone, it has been absolutely absurd. It's been horrid. Oh, it's been really, really bad. So I just hope. I just hope it's good. Okay, that's promising. That's very promising, actually. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Add some light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> okay, we can just get some stuff down here. Let's get the stack attacker down. Let's just hold. Before we go crazy here, because... uh. I need to think a little bit, find out what deck we're up against before we do anything hasty. Okay, is this a certain type of deck? All right, let's get rid of you two. Let's get another Miss Magnus down. Mischievous down, sorry. Mm-hmm. Do we just go for it? I think we do. I think we just want to go for a crazy turn one here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe playing a cow to gain this deck would be good, but missing out on the choice ban is so crazy. It's not worthwhile. Oh, ooh, okay. Ha. Huh. Mm. We can red challenge here. We can indeed use a red challenge. But I guess we have to discard 
the switch and the ha see i'm getting rid of energy already huh i kind of don't want to do that but we are we are here doing that oh yeah we can red challenge and actually get another miss magius which is kind of cool okay okay they're not going to get any sort of crazy ko next turn now that i think about it and then we can red challenge again for our beast rings but if we get him now that's great we can just charge up this this uh we can sweet okay sweet 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 okay so beast rings activated that's good news we can surge next turn we can red and erica so we can get another beast ring okay this is looking so much more promising okay sweet 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 okay there we are so the stack attackers are up the shrine is down we have the red challenge we have the surge we have stuff we can work with next turn to really make this worthwhile Okay, so the strategy is, 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 is taking place, which is nice. Which means this deck can achieve the strategy that we aim to achieve. Which is good. Because the previous deck um, didn't do so well without green. So the fact that we can achieve this without green is a good sign. It's a really good sign. Because we can play ability Pokemon now in this type of deck, which is good. But whether or not that's replicable or as replicable as green is something else. But nonetheless, we are here with a stack attacker ready to go. <clears throat> Buzzwall here, ready for the turn one KO. So long as we get Diancy, which we can just get from Will with, with this red challenge. So we can just grab it if we really need to get the KO. But it looks like we're up against a Zapdos Strachi deck. By the looks of it. I highly doubt this is Pikaron. Yeah, this is definitely Zapdos Strachi. Okay. Um, in any case, if, they, if we get that up, that would be really good. Oh, that'd be really good. Um, we just need Diancy Choice Band to one hit KO this thing, which is great. Whether or not that happens, though, is the, the real question. I don't mind just getting the KO on the Zapdos anyway. So we'll do that, if anything. And we can guarantee the KO on the Zapdos because we can just go in with the, uh, the Reg Challenge here. Oh, see, now you're a target. You're weak to fighting. You are a real target. See, if they get a switch, then they haven't attacked this turn, which is a bit of a shame, but... Because they can retreat switch. Oh, it is Pikram. Okay, now I'm excited. What we can do, which is a bit crazy, if we pull the right top deck, which would be a switch, we can take out this Pikram next turn. Like, we could definitely do that. Okay, they do have the energy switch, so they are going to get an attack off. Right, we can actually... So wait, prevent all effects of your opponent's ability done to this Pokemon. Okay, so we still maintain our Wall of Stone. Okay, sweet. Um, right, if we pull the switch, we are in a very good spot. We don't. Surge is a definite. This is a definite. Hmm. I highly doubt they're going to bench. See, I'm thinking we could just... Oh, no, we can't. I've, I've not got any Guzmas. Did I not put Guzma in his deck? Oh, my God, that's stupid. All right. Um, it seems like the must-have right now is Diancy, because at least we guarantee the KO. Right? And then we can just Erica. That seems like the smartest option. Let's hold off on that choice band. Okay, that's good. So, the way I'm mapping it in my head is we take the Zapdos, we take the Zero Aura, and we take this. But if we don't have a Guzman, we can't take that Zero Aura. That Zero Aura is definitely not coming into the active. Same with that Picaron. So, we might have to just kind of brute force our way through. Okay. Odds are then they have a Thunder Mountain. <laughs> if they're promoting that thing against this, they have... They have Guarantee, like 110% have a, have a retreat. <laughs> like, let's be real. They probably have an energy retreat, energy switch. Let's let's just be straight flat real for a moment. They have that because you do not promote the Zero Aura with a Sledgehammer Boswell in the active without having a guaranteed retreat. There we go. Yeah, they have the energy switch play. In any case, we have a stack attacker to follow up with, which will definitely get the KO. We still have one more turn to find this beast ring. 
which we really need right now to have this stack attacker available. Maybe some order pads would be good in this deck as well, just to really dig or some acro bikes. Just to really, 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 really dig for our beast rings. You know, I think that just seems so right. Okay, so we have two beast rings. Two beast rings. Okay, we have two. Cynthia, just give me one. That's so bad. That's so bad. Okay. Regardless. Mill, mill, mill. Ah, oh, we only get the one. Oh, wow. We did get Pikaron. But regardless. There's one. Just survive, Stack Attacker. You have 200 HP. You will just need to survive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh they got it. Oh, they got it, haven't they? They don't. They don't have it. No, they don't. No, they don't. I refuse to believe they have this right now. What they need to do is Coco, Energy, Retreat, Thunder Mountain, and then they can just GX us. That's not so good. Oh, they might have it, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Again, they wouldn't promote that peak run with, with knowing that they don't have a retreat. <clears throat> they definitely have a retreat. Which means they definitely have an energy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dude, I've got a massive KO on you next time. Please don't tell me you've, you've whiffed it. Dude, don't. Do they still have a Coco play to make here? They could energy switch and... Oh, they quit. <laughs> oh my god! We did it! <laughs> we got the game... I, I guess. <laughs> God, that's strange. Look, I wish I could do another one here, but it's it's getting quite late. I've been recording for two hours trying to figure something out. Um, not with this deck in particular. I tried to knit the Landorus deck. That wasn't working correctly. So that took about an hour of recording just out of the window because it just wasn't working to kind of just coming up with this deck and working with this. And it actually, well, working, <laughs> which was good. So you saw the deck achieve its strategy, which is great news. Uh, we managed to beat a peaker on, but bear in mind, they did make a bit of a misplay. Regardless, this deck has, just like the Buzzwall one, a lot of potential and a lot extra to it, actually. A lot more tankiness now, which is uh, great because I think the issue with that Buzzwall deck was its survivability. Um, and it's prize risking problem. So this stack attacker could kind of surpass that, right? Because you can have a high HP Pokemon, 200 HP effectively, um, whilst only giving one prize away so that you don't have to play Buzzle GX and give away two prizes in your game when you've already given away, let's say, two to, to activate your Beast Ring turn. So this could be the really good kind of mid ground for that Buzzwall deck that I showed you earlier but just with a bit of a different strategy seems to work bear in mind no guzmas so i think you, what's the what's the next step for this deck is working in order pads to increase the odds of hitting this and this when it's needed um and also add some guzmas somewhere but that's going to take a lot of tweaking a lot of tweaking you could reduce some energy add some energy recycler or something to keep the energy play uh strong for the beast rings but that's a bit shaky you could reduce your choice bounds, but that reduces damage output. You could go down to three stack attacker rather than four. There's a lot of ways you can go about this. Um, but it's a very tight deck. But I think it has potential. And I think it's something that is really fun and is just... It's your perfect, again, PTCGO deck, right? You just go on, jump in, whack this, mess around with it, get some few games off the ladder, and then just jump to your next one. That's pretty much what PTCGO is all about anyway. Um, but yeah, with that said... Thank you so much for watching. Ah.
This deck is nice. I like it. I like it. And as I said, I will be working on that Landorus deck and getting that out sometime in the future. But not now. I think I'm going to be leaving Fighting Types for a little bit um, after looking at Dojo in this as well. I want to see a bit of a different color. <laughs> and I'm sure you do too. But yeah, do leave a like if you did enjoy, of course. And do subscribe. Uh, but up until tomorrow, please do take care and peace.